hello there today I am having another play day just mucking around with paints I've got a lot of them to use up in the cupboard so I have got a whole lot of paints out of different colors and I'm going to put them through my kitchen colander on a recycled canvas which is an odd shape but was cheap and see what I can what patterns I can come up with that's very very wobbly I should put something underneath it I know um, I might just pop something underneath it to balance it okay so I've got my glove box that has my gloves in it and I'm just going to pop the canvas back down onto that it's not on its feet properly but the center piece is now nice and firm and should allow the paint to flow through the colander easily so I'll pop my colander back on that's much better that's nice and firm now so <laughs> being a play day I can do all sorts of things I want to do no worries so my colors as I said are all a mixes I've got orange gold silver white all sorts of reds uh, purple, blue, yellow, turquoise, orange, yellow, red, yellow, and black metallic, which I made up myself. And I'm going to start with the black metallic color, and I'm just going to run through the colors um, one after the other, a little at a time, to see what sort of um, pattern I can make. Uh, being play day, it can be as abstract as I wish. So I'll get started now.
night I walked away for five minutes just to let everything come off the last stretch of putting colours on I actually pushed them out further into the colander just to give more layering I'm loving what I'm seeing already without even lifting the colander so now it's time to lift it off and give it a good torch there are an awful lot of bubbles there and then I'm going to give it a tilt of course to see what sort of colors I can bring out I don't want that centerpiece of the purple to take over um, I'll see how the colors beneath it come through I'm hoping for a lot more silver and uh, lacing because my silver paint does so much in the way of lacing the colors I've already got some what I call caterpillars coming through um, which I'm hoping to also retain some of the outer colour as well, so I'll just see how this works. I always feel good when I get something that looks very satisfactory to me from just doing a play day. Of all those colours, of course, there are not many left to show for it. Of course, I knew the silver would dominate. The purple has disappeared somewhat to how it was when I put it on. Adding it as the last colour, I knew that it was going to be... Um, uh, a, a vibrant colour in there and of course it's merged out to lavender shades but I'm going to bring that up closer to the camera now to show you the metallics have certainly uh, shown up uh, with their lacing patterns and cells and caterpillars and anything else that uh, I might like to call it but that to me is just my idea of brilliant brilliant abstract art from acrylic pouring with its lines and circles and cells and colors I'm very very pleased that I put in the metallic mix of my burnt umber and uh, gold and also my raw umber and silver those two different colors and they certainly made a different uh, a difference to how the uh, paint pour has turned out and of course doing my um, colander pour the colander always uh, has a different result so that I will leave to dry it's so pretty and that's my video for today thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.